everyone welcome back to my classes on epidemiology so today we are seeing about blinding so what is blinding and how blinding helps to prevent the biases so last class we had seen uh, various types of biases uh, biases uh, biases which are seen in case control and cohort study so the most commonly biases are seen in case control and cohort and very rarely in uh, uh, experimental study because in experimental uh, we are keeping both participants uh, in randomly allocated so I mean both groups of participants uh, we are allocating by random method so the group itself are comparable the group itself are not using any bias that is selection bias is, bias is completely uh, remote from uh, the study design that's why it is uh, the most powerful study to prove a uh, hypothesis or prove a uh, cause effect or the association between a cause and effect so exactly what is blinding uh, and blinding is uh, not only possible in case control or cohort study because the study uh, case control study the participants will be definitely knowing their cases or their controls because people with diseases they will be knowing uh, their cases and people without the disease will be knowing their control so um, so that uh, is an inherent part of the study is saying that bias cannot be eliminated in any way uh, the cohort study also after a period of time they will be realizing they are becoming exposed to group and uh, so the other group is not exposed so uh, some part of the bias or some types of bias is uh, unavoidable uh, but uh, the main uh, bias selection bias is completely removable or avoidable in experimental study because of randomization so mostly this randomization is possible only in trials so as I had mentioned in experimental design the study designs uh, randomization is possible only with drug trials or any new machineries or any new techniques uh, any comparison of uh, new and old drug. in such scenarios uh, we can uh, do uh, blinding not in uh, any case study because of in the cases uh, and such scenarios are ethically involved so we cannot keep any random allocation so let's uh, come to the topic blinding so blinding in clinical trial is as the name suggests it is uh, the concealing or masking the uh, treatment regime or treatment allocation that is in any trial we have basically two groups one is treatment group and one is a control group or the two groups will be getting two different treatment two different drugs one new drug and one old drug so the idea of blinding is the participants should not be knowing which drug they are getting or which group they are allocated to whether they are being allocated to the treatment group or control group they should not be knowing that is a basic idea of um, blinding the participants will not be knowing which group they are going that is allocation concealment so that is we do by randomization but which drug they are getting uh, we can do only by blinding because uh, we have to make sure that the participants is not have any clue about the um, intervention being applied so there are basically um, three types of blinding single blind double blind and triple blind studies the most commonly used is double blind studies so blinding refers to keeping the trial participants that is the first group they are the participants they get the intervention the investigator they are the people who give intervention or they are doing the manipulation or intervention they are the investigators or the usually the doctors or any other uh, clinical trial uh, people and the third part is assessors those collecting outcome data they will be checking the measurement if you are trying a drug on blood pressure so they will be checking blood pressure before and after the 
study so we have three groups in any type of study that is first one is participants second one is investigators and third one is assessors okay so in blinding we have to blind one or three groups of these participants i mean these categories so that becomes primary i mean single double or triple blind study so they should be unaware of an assigned intervention they should not be knowing which uh, what type of material they are getting and uh, what is uh, uh, the uh, intervention they are being uh, allocated to nothing they should be knowing so uh, it actually prevents bias so the one bias we had seen in case control studies uh, Hawthorne effect observer bias when they are being known as uh, a case or they they know that they are being watched under study they will automatically psychologically change the output so that will be eliminated because they don't know which group they are being allocated they know that they are just part of the study but they don't know which group they are being allocated and another uh, bias was investigator bias the investigator who knows the hypothesis uh, and who knows uh, which group is getting which uh, intervention so such bias also uh, will be eliminated so investigator means in case control and the, it is about hypothesis but in experimental it is about intervention okay so blinding basically prevents bias so bias is something which distorts the uh, result of any study so we have only three uh, types first one is single blind study so we can see the picture okay this is an open trial where the uh, first category that is participants or patient next uh, healthcare providers or investigator that is staff and the analyst people uh, who measure the outcome data that is bp or anything all are open to uh, know the intervention so that is an open trial so the single blind trial participants they don't know which uh, they don't know which drug they are getting or which uh, type of intervention they are getting okay so allocation concealment is different and blinding is different allocation concealment is they will be allocated uh, to different uh, groups by random checking or randomization so this um, blinding is the participants will be blinded to the um, treatment intervention or the allocation uh, not the allocation the particular intervention they are being uh, given so here the patient is blinded or the participants is blinded okay that is a single blind study it is a one of the three categories that is participants rather than investigator usually we get doubt whether the participants or the investigator is blinded usually it is a participants okay that is single blind trial so when we come to double blind trial what happens is this is a double blind trial here the patient that is the participants and the staff or the investigator both are blinded both uh, groups uh, they don't know what um, they are doing what intervention they are giving to what group they are giving they don't know anything about the studies okay so this is known as a double blind trial so double blind trial participants and the investigators usually remain unaware of the interventions okay that is a double blind trial so triple blind trial is nothing but the double blind plus the analyst okay so all the three categories will be blinded the participants the participants the investigator and the outcome measure people that is analyst or the assessors are blinded so it is a double blind trial that also maintains a blind data analysis you can say that the outcome measuring people uh, or the data analyst the person who is doing data analysis so all the three categories of people are blinded here so this is triple blind study okay so most commonly you study is double blind study rather than triple blind because uh, the triple blind study usually needs a very uh, laborious uh, framework because uh, the participants has to be kept very cautiously they have to be blinded the investigator has to be blinded and again the uh, assessors or analysts to be blinded then there should be another group of people who will be doing majority of the other works they have to 
to the location uh, they have to give the treatment uh, they have to make sure they have to do the outcome measure so there will be four groups of people in a study so usually it will be the double blind study is most commonly happening triple blind studies uh, quite rare in our uh, trials so this is all about blinding so blinding is basically about preventing bias the, the least bias reported studies experimental study which is uh, most trusted or it is at the top of the evidence based just under meta-analysis and systematic reviews so it is the best study to prove causality or association mm, so blinding is must in any type of uh, trial so usually allocation concealment and blinding is different allocation concealment is the uh, allocation of participants will be concealed blinding is different thing the intervention is must so blinding is also known as masking okay. so we have three type of blinding single blind double blind and triple blind in single blind in this patient or in participants blinded double blinded the investigator also will be blinded and the triple blind outcome issue and the analyst also will be blinded